friends and welcome to vlogmas day two today is thursday december 2nd and today we are doing preliminary decorating with everything we bought yesterday in vlogmas day one and all the stuff i already had here at my apartment not including the tree the tree will be a different day which makes me sad but i cannot do a seven and a half foot tree by myself the cats won't help me, so I'm earning my festive sweater. We got some cardinals, very cute. Love a festive crew neck during this time of year, even though it's a little warm in Florida, I can still wear a crew neck inside at least. But I thought we'd start because I did test the stickers that we bought yesterday on my doors, and I didn't realize it's gonna be hard for me to show you, but I'm gonna figure out how to do that. My snowman that I bought that I thought could go on my front door. He's too big because we have a door knocker on the door. So we'll just have to use the other part, but I think he will fit on my laundry door. And the test sticker on my laundry door has gone fine. Went on smoothly, came off smoothly, left it there, came off smoothly again. I think we'll be okay. So we're gonna set this guy up inside my apartment and then just do the candy canes and all that fun stuff on the outside of my door. But this little guy has to go somewhere. He looks so weird without a hat, okay. Let me set you guys up and we'll we'll put them on the door together. So the main issue is making sure that he fits with his hat. So we're going to put him on first as far down on this plate as I can. Because I do have beveled doors, which does not help anything. And this is how they, they come off pretty easily once you get a little bit under there. I was nervous they were going to wreck the doors. I'll just put this here for now. Okay. So I think we're going to do, I really, let's see. Oh, he'll fit. Let's see. Let me grab the hat. Because we can layer the hat over his head quite a bit. That'll fit just fine. I'm going to start from the top though because that makes, that's how people like do vinyl, right? He's a little lumpy. He's got a couple creases, but we still love him. And they are just peeling sticks, so I think I'm going to do. Oh, maybe I won't do that that way. I thought it'd be come off a little easier. I love him. Let me know if we should name him Frosty or something else. I would like to know in the comments what we should name this guy because I should film over here with him. He's really out of the way, but I was afraid to do it on any of their my doors. And this like is a nice greeting for anyone who comes in. So it's right by my front door. Okay, got this little hat. Again. A little bit of a crease already on there from the way these were in that package. Are you kidding me? I love it. Now, just to prove to you guys nothing's wrong, peels off real smooth. I'll probably check it every day just in case, but let's see. So we do have some stuff left. We, got, we can add the snowflakes that were on his page onto his door. <laughs> He looks so cute and again he's right by my front door on my laundry door and now i'll be much happier doing my laundry later i think i put too many snowflakes at the top but that's fine it's fine it'll be fine let me know what we should name him in the comments <laughs>
I think it looks decent. We got a couple bubbles, but I stopped fighting it pretty soon after I started. I also noticed these candy canes are not the same size. We're just going to let that happen. I did add a holly to this one, though. This one came with one. I don't know. And then a bunch of snowflakes, of course. Snowflakes there. Snowflakes there. All the way up there. And obviously, inside we have Mr. Snowman over here. Overall, $8. Covered a lot of ground. Happy with the results. Let's hope it stays up and comes off easily later. Next up, we're attempting to do this guy right here. I don't know. Okay, I can just rip the package by accident. That's good. That's great. Okay, rip it a few more times. It's exactly what I intended to do. Tip for best results when installing clean the mounting surface with a clean cloth and rubbing alcohol to remove any dust or oils that would weaken the adhesive. Be sure to let the surface dry before installation. Okay, the bag was open. That's a little concerning. Okay, we've got our little remote. Ooh. And we've got our little set of lights, which is interesting to say the least. So you can see here, this is the light side, and then there's the blue adhesive on the back side. So. Let me go wipe down the TV and we'll get these puppies installed. So you probably won't be able to tell because it's still light out, but we do have... Okay, well, it's not the best. This is, I mean, there's not a good range on this, but at least it works. Turn the brightness up and down. The green, the red, blue, purple. Okay, that purple one doesn't work exactly right. There's colors. You kind of see it. I mean, at least I didn't buy the expensive one because this was annoying to put on. And it doesn't work all the time. But you know, it's the thought that counts. I wonder if I'm... There's no, like, tips on how to use this. It does have a battery in there, so... Should have got the one that worked with my phone, perhaps. Some of the buttons work sometimes. Off worked. It's up. We'll have some colors for Christmas. That's all that matters. And I want to show you guys what's currently on my TV stand. I have this adorable little ceramic dish that my friend Selena got me. These were the Target houses I actually talked about in yesterday's Vlogmas. If you haven't seen that, I'll have the playlist linked down below so you can catch up on Vlogmas if you're out of order or behind. And then I have this volcano candle, which we all know. I will never burn this. It's just, I'll never own another one. <laughs> but we love the Capri Blue Volcano candle. So not super Christmassy. We got the little house. Obviously, I'd switch this out if I had another holiday candle, but I don't prefer to burn my candles near my TV. I prefer to do that elsewhere where it's a little bit safer. And then you'll notice this little line of houses, which if you take a closer look, we have one, we have two, we have three. And what is this? A close-up for you. This is supposed to be number four. So if you're going to the Target dollar spot, and you're super excited about the advent calendar stuff. Read the numbers on the houses. I have two 13s and no four. And I would have returned it if I wanted to. But honestly, I could just paint this over and make a four house. I just leave it as is. Because I know that's where it goes. Right there in line with the rest. And it works out in the end. So we have all of those guys. One through 25. Which we need to knock down one. Because... It is actually 24 days till Christmas. Can you guys believe that? I can hardly believe that. And then on the other side, we just have my humidifier reader and some SD cards and my little remote. So I guess we'll see if I have anything else I can put over here in the decor. Maybe the Santa thing can go on that side. Let's go grab him and see what he looks like over there. I think he'll fit perfectly with my SD card holder. I think that works really well there. Again, we need to dust it. We need to get batteries in it, but I think that'll work.
is done, decorating's almost done, and the laundry is in. It's time to start winding down a little bit for the evening, and that means online shopping. Really what it means is planning for what else I need to buy. I know I need to buy a couple things online, so I need to get on that really quick before shipping delays get out of hand, and then I need to figure out gift cards, what other small businesses I want to hit up before the season is totally crazy. So I'm making that list now, and I will be very, very happy to take you guys along on the journey for finding all the cute things of the small businesses in Florida. Some of them will have online shops, so I'll definitely be sure to link all of those when we go. But yeah, I'm very happy with all the decorating. As the sun goes down, I'll be sure to update you guys with more clips on how it looks, relight the candles, maybe all the things. And maybe we'll watch a Christmas movie, maybe we'll make dinner together. We'll see how the night takes us, but for now, I need to order some more gifts because it's December 2nd and time is ticking, especially since I will be out of here for a trip back home for a majority of the holiday season this year. So be on the lookout for all of those details coming, but for now, let's get to online shopping. huge success. I ate way too many garlic buttered egg noodles, but I wanted to sign up for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating today. I had a lot of fun. I do need to figure out a new solution because the lights have fallen off the back of my TV, partially. Um, so I need to go fix that side. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas day two. And there may or may not be some very magical Vlogmases coming soon, so stay tuned. But for me and my new snowman, who you still have to name in the comments down below for me, are signing off for this evening. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss out on future Vlogmases. And for those wondering, yes, I will be making some crafty Christmas videos as well. So make sure you have the bell notifications turned on so you don't miss those as they come out throughout, sprinkled in throughout Vlogmas. But thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.